Lately, I'm super into the type of makeup look that looks like your skin but better. That is so seamless and blended and melted into the skin, it's hard to tell where the makeup starts and where your skin begins. So today I've partnered with Charlotte Tilbury to share with you guys the look that I have on now. So if you guys wanna see how I did this look, keep on watching. Okay, so I am nice and close and zoomed in so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. I literally have like my uber macro lens on so you could see like my pores practically. So my skin is completely bare. I just washed or rinsed my face with some water and I did fill in my eyebrows because I've done my eyebrows so many times on this channel and I feel like I'm getting repetitive with it because I do <laughs> my eyebrows basically the same way every time. Now the first thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is prep my skin because that for me is the most important step when it comes to having that like melted into the skin makeup look. To me it seems appropriate if I'm gonna do like a natural but glowy type of makeup look that I would start off with the Queen of Glowing Skin's Magic Cream. I use this on a day-to-day -day basis because it provides my dry skin with the hydration it needs and it just like instantly visibly plumps up my skin. Besides visibly plumping up my skin, this actually has the skincare benefits of vitamin C and E in it, which for me, of course, vitamin C is something that is part of my daily skincare routine and the vitamin E is going to help nourish my skin throughout the day. You can also use this at night, but like I said, I like to use this in the morning before my makeup because it just provides such a nice base for the skin. What this magic cream also features that works really well for my skin is the rosehip oil and the camellia oil. My skin does really well with those types of oils because they aren't heavy whatsoever. They just provide the skin the boost it needs throughout the day. And there's ingredients like hyaluronic acid, aloe vera, and shea butter, which again, my dry skin just soaks up. So I really take a second to work this into my skin. Honestly, it does, like I said, work instantly. But since this is like the part of my getting ready routine that I really enjoy, I really take advantage of it and give my skin a little extra attention. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my SPF protection because I use SPF every day naturally. And so I'm gonna be using the new Invisible UV Flawless Primer from Charlotte Tilbury. Now the Invisible UV Flawless Primer has an SPF protection of 50. Like the name implies, it is invisible on the skin, so it is super lightweight. It is non-scented, which is also a very nice feature of this. It has vitamin C and E in it, as well as hyaluronic acid. So again, for my skin that is dry, I can use all of the moisture possible. Now, personally for me, I am an advocate for using products that have multiple functions to it like this one, which has the skincare function as well as the SPF function. But since this is a primer and designed to kind of lay under makeup, it does soften the appearance of the skin as well as kind of brighten the skin as well. And another benefit of this product having a bit of that like moisture function to it is it's gonna help some of the other products lay nicer onto the skin and give it kind of a medium to really blend into the skin. So I don't know if you guys can already tell, but I really feel like this makes my skin just look flawless in its own right. Like the combination of these two products together, like I would happily walk out of the house with just these two products on because it definitely gives you that like glowy, happy looking skin and it gives my skin a little bit of that bounce. It's also non sticky in case you're wondering. And since these two products, again, work well in conjunction with one another, it doesn't feel heavy or sticky on the skin whatsoever. Now, when it comes to the makeup side of things, really less is more because it's one thing when your skin looks flawless on camera or in pictures, there's a lot of illusion behind those things, but it's a different story when you're interacting with people in person on a day-to-day -day basis. So the part of this video that I wanna emphasize is that this whole look is intended to really look like the you, but a better you, but like no one can tell exactly what part is makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and take two products 
that I absolutely love. I'm gonna take the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm using the shade for medium. And I'm also gonna take the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I use the shade for neutral and I am actually going to be just mixing a teeny tiny bit of this, really to just add a little bit of coverage onto my skin in the areas that I need. The reason that I say teeny tiny is because this Airbrush Flawless Foundation is pretty full coverage, so I'm gonna take like half a pump onto the back of my hand and I'm just going to use a little bit of the flawless filter and just do like a little baby swipe <laughs> and then I'm just going to use the back of my hand as a mixing palette and just kind of mix those two products together and even this I'm not even going to use all of that product so I'm just going to go ahead and dab this onto areas that I would prefer a little bit of extra coverage like under my eyes and I'm just going to go ahead and blend this out. You can always add more product. It's really difficult to take product away, obviously. And so I'm just going to go ahead and use the warmth from my fingers and blend that in. See, you can't even really see where the foundation ends and where my skin starts. We're really not trying to cover everything up. Like I still want a lot of like my freckles and everything to show through because I really feel like that's what gives your skin the appearance of skin. And for like a day-to-day -day basis where you just wanna look like you have gorgeous skin, this is kind of the best way to do it, I feel like. Okay, so that is it for my skin. I'm not using concealer or powder because I want to preserve that glow. And you can see how much product I still have on the back of my hand. So feel free to use less and kind of, you know, figure out how much you actually need so you don't waste product. But the next thing I'm actually going to do is work on my eye area. So since we're dabbing stuff onto the skin, I'm going to take a little bit more of that flawless filter again in the shade four, put a teeny tiny little boop on the back of my hand. And I'm going to be using that on the brow bone just very, very lightly. And again, we just want to kind of highlight some of the areas of the face. We don't want to draw any particular attention to any of our features. We just want to make it look like we're just genuinely glowy in all the right places. <laughs> I will not be using eyeshadow because Eyeshadow is a little bit too obvious for my taste when it comes to this look, but I am going to be using a teeny tiny bit of this Hollywood Exaggerize Liner Duo. I'm going to be using the metallic side, and I'm just going to be putting this on the very inner tear duct just to give myself a bit of that highlight, that open, doughy-eyed, awake type of look. <laughs> but again, I'm just going to go ahead and dab a teeny tiny bit right here. And again, I'm gonna use my finger to just kind of dab it out. So there's the subtle difference. I have the highlight on this eye and no highlight on my other eye. Okay, next I'm gonna apply mascara. I'm using the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. So let me just go ahead and apply a couple coats of this. Also, side note, when I'm applying this mascara, I'm not necessarily wiggling it back and forth because I don't want my lashes to kind of stick together or thicken up in that sense. I just want to kind of keep them wispy, so I'm just sticking to up and down motions just to pull every lash up and keep it fluffy. So I've got mascara on this eye, no mascara on this eye. Now I love me a monochromatic blush and lip combo. And the way I do that is just using the same product on my cheeks as well as my lips. I'm gonna be using the Hyaluronic Happy Kiss in the shade Romance Kiss. This is a very pretty kind of peachy rose type of look. It's perfect for like a natural flush type of look. And as the name implies, it does have hyaluronic acid. So it does kind of add to that dewy type of look. And I'm just going to, again, work in layers. Again, less is more when it comes to this type of look. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit onto my cheeks. And again, just using my fingers to kind of melt the different products together. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this onto my cheek. 
And just look how like natural that looks. Again, you can't really tell where the blush starts and where it ends. It just all works together. Apply a little bit more onto the other side. And see how you can still see like my freckles and everything, even this like little dark spot I have here in my cheek through what we're working with. I like that. I think this makes my whole, like it looks like I'm not even really wearing anything on my skin. Now that we've kind of diffused some of that color out, we can kind of focus on the center a little bit more, which will give it a more kind of gradient dimensional look, which will help kind of pop our cheekbones out a little bit more even. And then easy peasy, I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and apply it to my lips. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and dot a little bit onto my lips and use my finger to kind of blend it into my lips and smush it between any lip lines I might have and kind of feather it out past my lip line. I just feel like, again, there's no start necessarily to the color. You don't even really see if I'm wearing a ton of lip color, it just looks like my lips are flush. Okay, so this is the finished look. Let me go ahead and fix my hair a little bit and pop out a little wider so you guys can see what the whole effect is. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and link down below all the Charlotte Tilbury products that I use in case you guys wanna pick it up or check out more information on the products themselves. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!